Hey everyone, so today we're going to discuss top 20 MCQs that have been repeated many times in last 25 years of SSC examinations. Starting with the first question, which is the largest planet in our solar system? The largest planet is Jupiter. Why it is so? Because Jupiter is more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. Jupiter's immense volume could hold more than 1300 Earths in it. The second question is, which of the following is called twin of Earth? Or this can also be asked as, which of the following is called the sister of Earth? Venus is known as the sister of Earth or twin of Earth. Why it is so? Because they have almost same mass and same size, radius, volume and even density is also approximately equal. Moving on the third question, we have which is the hottest planet in the solar system? What do you think guys, which is the hottest planet in the solar system? If we consider the distance from the sun as main factor for the temperature of planet, then the answer should be Mercury. But it is not so. The correct answer is Venus. Why Venus? Venus is the hottest planet because Venus has a very dense atmosphere made up of great amount of carbon dioxide, nitrogen and sulfuric acid. While Mercury has a thin atmosphere with various gases but very little carbon dioxide in it. Carbon dioxide in Venus clouds absorb energy from the infrared radiations very well and trap the heat on the planet. The next question is, the moon is showing its same face to the earth because the correct option is, its period of rotation and revolution are same. Why it is so? It is so because its rate of spin is tidally logged. So that is synchronized. Synchronized here means the coincidence of occurring at the same time or to make occur at the same time with its rate of revolution. It means the revolution and the rotation have the same period of time for the moon. In other words, we can say the moon rotates exactly once every time it circles the earth. It is, it is because of the strong gravitational pull of Earth. Fifth question, we have the asteroids revolve around the sun in between. The options are Earth and Mars, Mars and Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn and Uranus. What do you think? Which is the correct answer? The answer is Mars and Jupiter. Why it is so? Because the area between Mars and Jupiter have too much of gravity going on. And the reason for this whole is Jupiter. The gas giant, that is Jupiter, is the most massive object in our solar system. And objects with more mass have more gravity. For Jupiter's large gravitational pull on the area would become asteroid belt is believed to be the main reason why these bodies exist in between the Mars and Jupiter. Which is the coldest among the following? Pluto is the right answer because Pluto is farthest from the Sun and therefore receives very less heat from it. Also, the question can be asked in the form which is the coldest planet in the solar system? For this, we have two answers. One is Neptune and the other is Uranus. Why we have these two answers, not one? Because Neptune is the planet whose average temperature is least, whereas the Uranus on which scientists recorded the lowest temperature. Neptune's average atmosphere temperature is minus 214 degrees Celsius, whereas 
Uranus ever recorded lowest temperature is minus 224 degrees Celsius. And if we see the data of year 2000, then the coldest planet was Pluto. But as Pluto is now considered as draft planet, so it is the coldest draft planet. Seventh question is, what are pulsars? Pulsar, as well defined from the name, it is something related to pulse, contraction, pulsating, or on and off. It is a star which radiates two straight beams and continuously spin, spins. So the two beams spinning seems to be like on and off. Therefore, it is named as pulsar. So the correct answer is rapidly spinning stars. Moving on the eighth question, which is the second nearest star to the earth after the sun? The correct answer is Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri is a star which can be seen with the naked eye from the Earth's surface. Because of the proximity of this star, its distance from the Sun can be measured directly. Proxima Centauri's mass is about one-eighth of that of Sun's and its average density is about 40 times that of Sun. Moving on the next slide, we have the question. Which of the following is known as morning and evening stars? The correct answer is Venus. Venus is known as morning star and the evening star because it appears brightest shortly before sunrise and shortly after sunset. <coughs> Venus overtakes the earth every 584 days as it orbits the sun. As it does so, it changes from evening star visible after sunset to the morning star visible before sunrise. The next question which is very repeatedly asked in the examinations is solar energy is received by earth through the correct answer is radiation. Why radiation? What is radiation? Radiation is a process in which energetic particles or energetic waves travel through vacuum or through matter containing media that are not required for their propagations. Question number 11 is what is supernova? When a massive star with the very high density collapses, exhaust its supply of fuel it's blast out in a giant explosion known as supernova. This means when the star is very much massive but the volume is less and the density is very much high, then the star itself, itself collapses. Then this explosion of star is known as supernova. Moving on the next slide, we have question number 12. Which of the planet is called the blue planet? Earth is known as the blue planet because it has a large number of oceans in it and, and due to the presence of large number of water bodies, it appears to be blue from the universe, therefore it is known as blue planet. Question number 13. When the moon completely covers the sun, it is known as umbra. Let us explain this through the diagram. So this darkest shadow is known as umbra and the angular shadow formed from this shadow is known as antumbra and this light shadow which is large in amount is known as penumbra. So, when the moon completely covers the sun, there appears a darkest shadow 
which is known as umbra solar or lunar ellipse the region of earth's shadow is divided into three parts as we have explained it through the diagram the first is penumbra the second is antumbra and the darkest one is umbra question number 15 we have day, day and night are equal at equator why it is so because it does not tilt in the relation to sun's location because of the tilted axis of earth like this the pole and locations away from the equator lean towards or away from the sun as its orbit is completed next slide we have question number 16 when does the solar eclipse take place the right answer is when the moon is between earth and sun solar eclipse occur when the moon gets between earth and sun the moon cast the shadow over the earth question number 17 ursa major or big bear is an example of the correct answer is constellations what are constellations constellations are group of stars which draw or which makes a pattern in the sky of stars which of these is a dwarf planet because neptune is a planet Titan is a not planet and not even a dwarf planet. The correct answer here is Iris. Talking about Iris, Iris is the most massive and second largest dwarf planet. It is 27% more massive than the Pluto. Question number 19. On which date is India like to experience the shortest day? 22 is the right answer it is also known as winter solstice the winter solstice occur at the moment when the north pole is tilted further away from the sun moving on the last question the pole star indicates which direction pole star indicates the north direction so if you understand the questions and their concept very well and thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, share and comment.